everyone. I have a real special variety that uh, I want to review for you all. It's a variety that I have been growing for quite some time. And uh, it resembles a lot of Canadria, Atriano, Lynnhurst White, Laterola, Dr. Gawadi, which I have right behind it and have eaten. Um, they're very similar taste profile figs. Uh, they, they're not exactly the same. Most of them have actually the same leaf pattern, believe it or not. Persian White's another one that I found to be very similar. Lebanese Yellow is another one that I found to be very similar. It's a common fig throughout all the entire world. Uh, I don't know what it is. Even, even when you breed this fig in terms of Canadria, even though that one's bred by Ira Condit, it seems very similar to many types of figs. I don't know what that, I don't know why that is. Maybe it has something to do with some kind of Capra fig that's been the parent, the male parent of, uh, of these varieties that has just somehow, I don't know, been the dominant gene or something. I, I don't know, but I picked most of the figs off of this tree. We air layered it for a friend. In fact, I think what I want to do is actually put this tree in the ground because it's so good um, that I've learned this year. If you if you really let it ripen with these varieties, guys, they become really, really good. And I think this one's quite ripe down here, but I don't think this is perfect. And the rain has been worrying me. I ate one of these, though, off the tree with my brother. My brother was here. It's really difficult to pick this thing because of the, uh, the air layer there, but... I had to pull it off at the neck, unfortunate. But I ate one. I ate one with my brother, guys, and we could not believe how good this was. Um, really, we ate this with Smith, and this was pretty damn close to a Smith. A very different fig, extremely different fig. Here we have right next to it. This is Long D out that we did in the previous video. But uh, you can see the eye is pretty close on this variety, which is really good. Uh, the skin's quite thick, so it holds up to the rain pretty well. It also transports pretty well. What I'm finding with this variety is that it, it turns red. It turns a, a dark pink. Better than the other varieties of this type, of this flavor profile that I have. So the, the varieties that I just mentioned. The other nice thing is that it has a really thick interior. And that seems to do, give it another extra unique part of the fig. Uh, my Col de Don Blanc that I got to eat this year was extremely thick. The interior of the fig, guys, this is my Col de Don Blanc back here. But my Col de Don Blanc, uh, the interior was as thick as pancake batter. And being, or having an, uh, an interior that thick, it really makes it quite unique. And I found that white triana also has quite a thick interior. You can get this fig, by the way, guys, online from Italian or figtrees.net. There's a guy who sells this, who brought this over from Italy, and he's the one that spread this around. I'm blanking on the guy's name, but I know he's good, a good person to deal with. It's also very widely common in the fig community if you're not willing to buy it online. So yeah, this is pretty reminiscent. Uh, I think one more day, two more days may have been perfect, but you can see the interior here is getting to a dark pink, almost a, almost a red color. And it really brings out a nice berry flavor and the, and the interior is uh, very thick. So let's try it and see if we get that this time around. Yeah. Really good. Um, I'm a big fan of this fig, guys. I think I've said that at the beginning of this video, but it's really good. A nice jammy interior. It's quite thick, very pleasurable. Even though the skin is thick, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't seem to be 
uh, affecting me at all. At all, it doesn't seem to be taking away from the flavor or intruding in any way. Um, that's White Triana, guys. A really, really special fig um, that I definitely suggest many of you guys get. Uh, we're gonna see how well it does in the ground, but it's very productive. I didn't mention that. I mean, last year the fig had about 40 figs on it, and the tree was only in a five-gallon pot. It was only two years old. Um, it just really performs quite well. Uh, it's about a mid-season variety, so it's not too late, it's not too early. Um, yeah, overall it just seems like a nice winter. It seems to do okay in the rain, not the best in the rain, but uh, I think the thick skin definitely helps with commercial ability, transport, and maybe a little bit of rain resistance, and the eye doesn't split, it seems like, either. So, good choice. Uh, that was White Triana, guys. Hope you enjoyed this fig review. Catch you all for the next, the next one. Take care.